Okay, so when you're working in the Pro Tools studio in Harmer, you will often want to record somebody in the recording booth and they're going to need to hear what they're recording. So you need to set up a headphone send for this to work properly. And the reason we do that is so that you can set their levels for what they hear, but you might want to hear something completely different in the control room. So the way that you do that, and I'm going to switch first of all to the mix screen, which you can do from window and mix. Or you can use the shortcut, which is command and equals. That flicks between your edit and your mix window. So in your mix window, for each track in Pro Tools, you've got an input and you've got an output. Uh, now our top track, or our first track here, is the video and the audio which comes with that video. Uh, and in this case, we're doing ADR, so we're replacing the audio um, that's on that original audio track and we're recording some new dialogue on our second track here. Now our um, voice actor um, or artist needs to hear both the original sound and the, sound, the new sound of their own voice that they're recording. So we set up two sends. In this section here we have inserts and we have sends. So in the send section, if we click anywhere in this grey box we get the options of where we want to send the audio to and always in this studio our headphone send is on output 7 and 8 so if we have a look in the output section here and we come down to A7 and 8 that then brings up a fader here which we can move around or we can close down if we want um, and this is where we will set the level and uh, we're just going to set that around minus three to begin with you can also if you don't want, want um, this large fader taking up space if you command click on this area of the send it's the little circle there then it creates a little fader there that you can change without ever having to bring up another fader menu. The other important thing is to make this send pre-fade. And you do that by clicking on the P there, it illuminates blue. Uh, if you did have the large uh, send window there, then it's uh, pre there. So it's the same button it's the same function it's there it's called pre and there it's just p um the reason we do that is um that makes sure that these settings that we're using here are not affected by the track level the track level as, as uh, you'll probably know affects what we hear in the control room uh, and like i say uh, whoever's in the recording booth might want to hear different levels than we've got set up so that's that's why we do that um, and then all you have to do is create another send on your audio input track so this will be the sound of their own voice as they're recording um, and again it's it's the same settings that we use so it's send output seven and eight again you set it to um, pre-fade uh, and a nice little trick here is if you want to save a bit of time, if you've already set up one send and you want to uh, duplicate that on another track, if you hold down the Alt key and drag that send across, it automatically creates you a new send with the exact same settings. Now that you've set up your headphone sends, everything should be good. You just play back some audio get the actor to do a few test um, lines and away you go.